More progress on the trailer. I have just cut this little bitty hole here for an outlet and that's the only portion of this piece that needed to be cut with the exception of a few inches off the top and I'm gonna go try it uh, where it goes in the trailer. Hopefully it fits. It's really time to get some inner skins on this dang thing and start seeing some more progress. I did not realize I needed to cut window. Dang it. My outlet hole is good though. Yeah, pretty camera. I mean, it's good-ish. It's right there. The trailer's so funny because every panel has got multiple cuts because all the windows and plugs and stuff. <laughs> which we'll be glad we left later, but as it is, it's a pain. Hey y'all, look. It's cut. <laughs> Looks pretty dang good too. One of the things we're most excited about in the trailer is our sonic cabinetry and it's just been stacked up at the back of the trailer ever since it came in and since i have that panel up i want to hang one of the cabinets one of the high cabinets because i can't wait to see what it's gonna look like i'm so stoked so i'm gonna pull this out of the box oh, awesome Okay, so this is the hardware I would put. There's gotta be a key. Yeah, there's the key. <laughs> That's so pretty. I'm excited. Oh my gosh, okay, let's take it over there. Okie dokie, I've got my pilot holes drilled for these bolts that are gonna hold the cabinet on. I've got nice big bolts that've got this substantial head on them. The back of this cabinet has like a slot and then slides up in to lock it in place. So these are gonna be perfect for that. So let's get them into the wall. Should we go only in that much and then tighten them down once we get it on? Yeah, that's a good idea. This is exciting. Hey, it's secure. Take a look inside. Those bolts look good. Mm -hmm. We're thinking that we want to do more bolts because we didn't actually get into the metal structure. We're just in the plywood and we want to be sure that this cabinet can hold weight and not worry about it falling in route. So we'll probably track those studs, the metal pieces, and put more bolts in there. But for now, this is great. Man, this thing works so nice too. Like these shocks, it's just really well-built, heavy-duty stuff. That looks nice. And they have locks on them so that when we're going down the road, yeah. the doors won't come open and exactly. spill all the wine out. All the wine. <laughs> well, yesterday we got rained out. It started pouring and I was unable to cut any more metal. But today is a gorgeous day and I am out here with some fresh measurements for a new piece of metal and my template got soaking wet, but I think it's still gonna work. <laughs> so I'm gonna get my corners here so that I can cut the edges for the window. I've got an outlet on this piece as well that I have to measure and cut. And pretty soon it'll be time to stick that bad boy on there. Slowly but surely, this is coming together. <laughs> As I was cutting this, it literally starts pouring down rain, but I did get my piece cut. I'll dry it off once it stops raining and then I'll test fit it. <laughs> oh gosh. 
right, the rain has cleared. We have pretty blue sky. Time to get back to work. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Something I didn't account for was overlap. In talking with Aaron about this seam, because I did not account for like, you know, a quarter inch overlap, it looked like I cut it well enough to have the seam meet and, and, and it would work. So my next thing was ugh, that tape, it sticks so well that there's no margin for movement once you stick it. So I told Aaron, I'm like, I think I wanna do the liquid nails on this piece so that I'm sure I have the ability to be able to move it around a little bit and get that seam perfect. So I think on this sheet, I'm gonna do the liquid nails and trying both of those ways of adhesion, the tape is really nice, but once it's stuck, it's stuck and it does not want to come off. You can't adjust anything once you stick it. So that is one thing that I like about the liquid nails. You, you have some margin there. You can pull it back away if you mess something up or once you get it stuck, you can kind of move the piece and make it perfect. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Time to put some glue on that wall. I'm gonna attempt to hang this piece of metal all by myself. My biggest hope is that I don't flop it one way and get stickiness all over the other panel, but I just have to try it. I'm going for it. This is working, you guys. The seam is looking really good. So I pre-drilled holes for me to be able to put some screws in there to hold it. So I'm gonna do that, but honestly, man, it's sticking pretty good. But I'm still gonna put my screws in it just to be sure that she stays put. Look, babe. Oh, it's in. I did it. Good job. The seam, check it. It's good. Yeah. Progress check-in. I've got another piece up. I've got to put a new piece of plywood right there and then more cabinets are gonna go up there so just keep on keeping on. All right y'all the Sun has officially set but I have one more piece to cut this guy right here and uh, we do have a little street light here but I couldn't see my piece so I had to go get my phone to use the light. Let's get to chopping. Mom saves the day. <gasps> Yay. Oh my. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> so welcome. Kind of it doesn't gross. show how sticky and hot and dirty you are. Good. You just got kind of cute with that curl hanging down. Yeah, it's been happening all day. Oh, that'd be sweet girl. Love you now too. it's dark outside and you're I know. still. Let me Add put it. this uh, battery on my blower and blow this off for you. Hold okay. my light for me. Let's go see if it fits. All right, let's do it. This is the only like, <clears throat> piece in the whole trailer that only required one cut. Okay, we've officially done three takes and my mother hates her face and every take she's like, no, you have to redo that. So we're going with it. This is my sweet mother. She lives right next door in the house I grew up in. Erin and I bought the adjoining property. Um, so anyway, she's always over here and she's helping me hang these cabinets. And so we just made marks for where my bolt holes go. So I'm going to toss some bolts on the wall and see if we can get that cabinet up and all cute on the wall. 
not cute, you know, like tough. <laughs> Mom's yeah. cute, the cabinet's cool, tough. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like it looks low on this side. 68. This one's 68 3 8 so it's a little higher on this side. About a quarter of an inch. That's easy to do. Okay. Lowered our hole just a skosh. 68. 68. All right, time to hang the next one. Yay! Two cabinets in place and they look really nice. Now we're going to get the toolbox portion out and the locker and the countertop and see what we can do about finding where it's all going to be placed. I knew you were going to do that. I could see it coming. It looks so pretty. That metallic fleck is just beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this mofo. Wow. All of these have adjustable feet on them, so it's really nice to be able to adjust the height. It's so good. This countertop is heavy duty. Dang, Erin, this looks so gorgeous. Good morning. <laughs> Alrighty, it is time to start our day and you guys, it was a late night. Uh, for us, we haven't worked late in a while, and um, last night we were up until about 2 a.m. We got a lot done in the trailer last night, and it was really, really fun. We had been needing a push, and the thing is, I kind of made that push happen by making us a reservation at a place that we've been wanting to visit. <laughs> So yeah, um, we have a reservation starting tomorrow evening at Birds Adventure Center, which is a place in Arkansas that we've been interested in checking out. Um, we have a huge mess outside right now, boxes and junk that have gotten rained on. Um, and that's really good because that means progress. That means we're doing stuff. Today's gonna be fun because we're going to kind of button up the vital things on the trailer and actually hit the road in it because we thought, man, like, why are we gonna wait until it's finished to actually use it? Um, uh, one of the elements that we're most excited about is using it with the layout that we have now and then deciding if that's what we actually want and what we like. That's the idea right now. We're gonna go use it for a long weekend and have some adventures in it. We're gonna take Betty Boop the Bronco and take her off-roading a little bit, uh, take our fishing gear, just kind of have fun and do an adventure and uh, work on it along the way. Finley and I are out at the plywood work desk and we're getting ready to cut this piece of plywood for the front portion by the bedroom um, that needs to be covered. And I just got one cut, I've got one more cut to do and then I'm going to install that. And then that's checked off the list until we decide what we wanna do with like drawers or storage there, cause that'd be a really cool place for storage. For now, we're just going to cover it up. Finley's lazy as usual. Alrighty, I have got big, humid, curly hair today. Yeah. Okay, I've got my wood in. I'm reinstall our boat ladder. We don't love this option as to uh, getting up into the bedroom, but we don't want stairs that are in the way of the kitchen. So, I don't know, we may end up changing that eventually, but for right now, that's what we're using. We have the toilet in, but the hole is not cut to access the canister from the outside of the trailer yet. We're still um, playing with that. Oh, look, well, another thing. Aaron has the AC going and boy, is it blowing? It's awesome. <laughs> he wired him up again. And this little nifty thing is the switch for our lights. And Aaron um, got them sort of pseudo in um, temporarily. And 
it's just like literally a little sensor. You hold your finger on it, you tap and it turns them on. Tap turns them off. If you turn them on, you hold your finger on the sensor, it'll dim them. I don't know, oh yeah, you could sort of tell there. It's really fancy and cool. We're excited about that. Aaron got that one installed and the one for the bathroom lights. So that's really nifty. Um, right now, he is working on securing all of this stuff. Um, he's got the locker secured. He's got put bolts in the back side of it. And now he is putting bolts in um, the toolbox and he's getting ready to make a mounting point on the edge of the locker for the stainless countertop. So it's freaking awesome. Yeah. There it is. So we are just moving right along folks. I like it. Alrighty. It is action over here. Got this bolted down. It's nice and solid. Oh my gosh, that looks so nice. I can tell I'm going to obsessively be cleaning this. <laughs> I know it's like yeah. industrial and tough, but it's so pretty that I've seen smudge marks and rings from drinks. <laughs> it makes me cringe. It's not the most beautiful solution right now, but. No, but we're, we're not totally sure that's where we want to leave everything. So it didn't make sense to fabricate a bunch of stuff and we're just testing it. We're gonna try it here, make sure we like this situation Solid, where it is. That's awesome. I really like it. I think the sink is really pretty to go right there. And then, you know, we'll have a workspace where we can wash dirty hands or I can wash dishes after he cooks amazing food over there. <laughs> yeah, and then our toolbox will go there. And the toolbox that we have is the one that we had in the back of Garfield. It's it's low so it, it can kind of be right there and that gives room for the sink see that gross piece right there i miscut this piece of metal and i made it okay with myself because i'm like it's behind the toolbox don't stress out <laughs> yeah i was bummed out but it's not a deal breaker it's all good we actually moved our cool kindle um what would you call those chairs they're like bucket chairs out of 55 barrel gallon chairs. drums barrel chairs yes um, they're so cool, uh, but we moved those in here so we could have some places to sit and I put a bunch of our tools and stuff in the drawers. Check it out. It looks really, really nice. It feels so good. This is like the wiring drawer, a bunch of screws and then tape, impacts and more impacts. It feels so nice to have like places for stuff in here. I also put a whole bunch of stuff in the locker, uh, kind of our inventory of parts that we haven't installed on the trailer yet. We're kind of thinking like at camp, we can tinker with the trailer more too. So it's fun to get it to a point where we can use it. It's not done by any means, but it's kind of like utilizing what we have to make some adventures right now because uh, waiting to have it finished is kind of a bummer because we've got a long way to go. So yeah. it's about 2.30 right now. We want to leave here by like four. Um, so we'll probably clean up, load the Bronco and uh, hit the road. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Aaron is getting ready to install some D-rings in the floor. We are going to countersink these with the tiles. So um, as we install the rest of the flooring, we'll just cut around and countersink them into the flooring. And that's gonna be so awesome. All right, well, we are all cleaned up. And it's time to load the Bronco. Tell me down in the comment section, do you like to crisscross your straps or do you like to have them on all four corners going out to each corner? Fix those in a second. 
second. All right, the Bronco is loaded up. Betty is strapped down and it is time to lift the nose of this trailer up so we can get the Super Duty all connected and we can rock and roll on out of here. You ready to go, Finn? You gonna ride in the back of the truck like a real dog? No. I think it's perfect, Aaron. Nice. You did good. Definitely adding an electric jack to the list. It was already on there, but we're underlining it. <laughs> that Super Duty is such a blessing. Oh my gosh, that truck's amazing. Huge shout out to Ford Motor Company because it is such an honor to be driving this rig. Yep, you're doing good. Keep it cut. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> Beautiful. You're clear of the tree. Nice. <laughs> That's a big old trailer. You're such a boss, Aaron. Yeah. Kicking a tire. Kicking a tire. It's ready to go? Yeah, I think it's ready. I love my mama. I love you. <laughs> we'll be in touch. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, Erin. There's a dog in here waiting for us. All right, buddy. It's time to go. Ooh, I'm turning that trailer bait game up. That's awesome. So tomorrow I have a job in Maumel, Arkansas for Dillard's. And once I finish that, then we will be headed out to Birds Adventure Center where we have a reservation starting tomorrow evening. So we're really excited. Get a little modeling done and then head onward to some off-roading and camping and cooking and fishing and fun stuff. Life is good. Work at Dillard's is done. It is now time to hook the trailer up and head on to Birds Adventure Center and check this place out. Yes. This drive is so Beautiful! Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, get it, babe. Woo! <laughs> It is so awesome to be here in this camping spot. In the morning, we will unload the Bronco, go check in, get the rundown on the place. Um, right now, we're getting ready to make some dinner and sack out for the night because we're both pretty pooped. I cannot wait to see what kind of adventures we get into while we're here. And you guys can look forward to that on future episodes. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching the trailer build and the Bronco build and all of the builds. And by the way, if you're into cooking, camping, other types of adventure outside of the shop, we have finally launched our new channel. It is called Jump In with Erin and Emily. And it is right now primarily Erin cooking and us camping. And it's so much fun. Um, we are really looking forward to filling that channel with all kinds of fun adventures that we don't do in the shop. So thank you all so much for the support there. You will find the link in the description, but also in the channels tab, you'll find that channel there as well. So can't wait to see you all over there and see you on an upcoming episode, you know, riding trails and adventuring here at Birds Adventure Center. It's awesome, y'all. We'll see you next time.